automation. So how do you how do you systemize and how do you automate your business to get it to the point where no matter what, whether you wake up at noon or whether you're on a beach in Thailand, how do you get your business to make you money while you sleep? And how do you keep that coming in every single day like I have and many of my students have? So the biggest companies in the world right now don't own any inventory. They don't stock any products. They simply connect people with products. Now let me give you an example. Hotels.com. Hotels.com is the largest hotel company in the world right now. And it's, it's the biggest hotel company and it, it doesn't own any hotels. It doesn't have any property. It simply just connects people with hotels. It just recommends people to hotels. People go on Hotels.com and they book a hotel. Hotels.com is an affiliate. They're a very large affiliate, but they just are a connection point. And that's the most scalable sort of business. Airbnb. Airbnb is actually an affiliate company. They are one of the biggest companies in the world, yet they don't own any of their own locations. They don't have their own, you know, they, they don't own any locations and they're just simply connecting people who have places that they're willing to rent out with people that are interested in renting out a location. And they make a cut for referring both parties together. Now, it's a beautiful business because it scales at will and it runs without, without stopping because it's all based on the internet. But Airbnb is an example in a, of an affiliate company that has grown insanely large. Again, the opportunity is not in creating your own products. The opportunity is not in managing support. The opportunity is not in managing all these different layers of business that will drag, you know, that will drag, that will suck your time and your energy and your money. The opportunity is all in connecting the world and providing either better usability or more information to help consumers make decisions and purchase products online. All of the companies you book flights through, most of the major ones, like Expedia.com, Expedia.com does not own any airlines. They don't, own, they don't own any planes. They don't have any locations. They don't have any facilities. Yet Expedia.com is the largest airline company in the world right now. And they don't own any airplanes. And it's completely digital. Expedia.com is an example of an affiliate marketing company. They connect people with flights and they make a cut of the transaction for, refer for bringing the two parties together. Let's go over another example. If I, if I haven't convinced you yet that affiliate marketing is the number one way to make money in today's economy, I'm doing a horrible job. <laughs> Another example, I mean there are tons of them. Basically every major business out right now is an affiliate marketing company. It owns no inventory and it just connects people with a service. Here's a great example of an affiliate marketing company. Uber is actually an affiliate marketing company. Now Uber doesn't own any cars. Think about this for a second. The biggest taxi company in the world, the biggest transportation company in the entire world does not know, own any cars. The biggest transportation company in the entire world has no locations where people can get cars. 
Uber is an affiliate marketing company because they own no inventory and they simply connect people who want rides in a taxi or who want to go somewhere with drivers who are willing to take them there. And they take a cut of the transaction for referring the two parties together. Now, I've shown you some very big examples of affiliate marketing in today's world. But there are actually millions of examples of people making money as affiliates in very small niches, which is something I'm going to talk about later on. Anything that's bought and sold online, people can be affiliates for. Anything that is bought and sold online, there are affiliates making a cut of the money and their business runs completely independent of their time and effort. All you need to do is get your little websites running or get your system set up and you're continually making money. So, sorry about the horrible handwriting, but basically people plus products equals profits. So whenever you connect people with products, you can make money. And the easiest way to connect people with products is using the internet, is using links, or it's using Google or Facebook or YouTube or other social media that people use every single day. Now, I've shown you some examples of very large companies.